Hello everyone, welcome back again to Natural Language Processing with Test Blog. So in today's discussion, we're talking about sentiment analysis. So what is sentiment analysis? So sentiment analysis is simply put emotion AI. That is emotion. It's about opinion mining. It's the other way, other word for it is opinion mining. That means that you're trying to mine different people's opinion about a particular product, about a particular test or a topic. And then you're going to classify their opinion as either positive negative or neutral but either as good or bad right which can be either subjectively or objectively so the main aim is to determine the opinion of people the attitude of people concerning a specific topic or a test or a product so these are people's feelings right when they buy some people's feelings their reviews their opinions these are people emotion so we're trying to analyze this particular test to know whether it is positive or negative so first of all let's go with from test blog import test blog right perfect now this is one way so the test blog by default uses the naive base classifier it's having two types of classifiers to help us to do sentiment analysis so either it's using the naive base classifier or the pattern analyzer analyzer so this is it that you can see it so it's using the naive base analyzer and then the pattern analyzer right that is the main ones it is using but you just go straight away with it so let's use a simple test kit right this is our first review so review one so i love this watch right i love this watch okay so if i want to see the sentiment of it it's going to be simple so review underscore one dot sentiment they're going to give us three two different results polarity and then subjectivity so what is polarity as i said we are trying to identify classify the opinions of people as either negative or positive which are two different poles so polarity right so either negative or positive so the closer the number to it is the closer the number the polarity to zero or negative that means that the number is negative polarity and then if it is closer to one that means or positive one that means it's what positive polarity and then if it's in between neutral so this is almost like neutral subjectivity is as it, as it goes subjectivity based on the sub based on whether it's objective or subjective to the person speaking okay now let's use another word so i'll copy this stuff and then change it from i love to i hate right let's see what it's going to give us i hate how do you spell hate? <laughs> I don't know how to spell hate. Uh, uh, hate this wristwatch. Right? So we have a different test. And we're going to see whether it's going to give us something different. If I go with review, let's copy this one and paste. So review 2. It's 0 0.8. Hmm. I hate this. That is giving us, I, I don't know why it's giving us this 0. 0.8. 8 negative see that is negative that means that it's a negative polarity that means it is somehow bad right it is actually telling us the truth about this stuff so this thing can be done in the same way as this if you only want to find a polarity you can just do it without specifically with this dot polarity right it's going to give us only this one 0 0.8 right perfect if you want to do it for the subjectivity too you can also do the same thing using the subjectivity so that is going to be what subjectivity subjectivity perfect 0.5 okay so that is one way of doing it so now let's try and analyze our whole test that we had the plenty of tests we had in the initial tutorial which was my feelings right that was the test that we had we are trying to analyze all of these ways perfectly. So now let's see how to do that here. So it's going to be for F for feelings in my feelings. Right? And then we're going to look through it. So we're going to have it like this. F let's call it like our result is going to be going to pass test blog. Then F for the feeling. And I'm going to sentiment dot polarity right perfect 
and from here I will just going to print then what am I going to print? I'm going to print it as this so it's going to first of all take the word itself this is going to be the phrase and then I'm going to go with our result right Results perfect. So I'm going to say that this is polarity Right perfect. So now we have got something like this. So now let's check perfect. So that is trend. So now we are done So that I love my phone But will not recommend it to any of my colleagues. That is polarity of 7.5 which is almost good This is also almost good neutral positive this is totally <laughs> neutral. I don't know what this is. I don't like this restaurant. Wow, well, what a great tip! Three point five. So this is hard to resist. All these things are negative polarities. All these negative ones are negative polarities. So that is one of the use of doing sentiment analysis with this blog. So this thing can be used for a lot of applications. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or contribution, you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.